we're back. It's too bad. And we're at Waterworks, and it's cold. It's been a while since we've been back, so we're rusty. But we'll see you inside. different font <laughs> <laughs> you guys water parks was so amazing as usual i think that was round 15 for me and cammy cammy ended up coming and we met up with her a little bit later so that was a very interesting water park show for me and cammy because we've never done balcony before we've always been middle of the pit and it's always been just insane and i think we were just like not feeling that today like considering we've seen them so many times i'm surprised it took us this long to be up on the balcony and just kind of like hang back ended up being fine our view was like a little obstructed like we couldn't see auto that well which is like why does that always keep happening <laughs> auto is like always blocked other than that i mean like of course amazing show amazing set amazing set list i'm upset because they were supposed to have a b stage and at 9.30 club, they didn't have a B stage. So I was like, my goal was to be like, oh, we'll just hang back by B stage and be close for that. But that didn't happen. And once again, like last year, I didn't get any merch. And I felt weird about it because I've gotten merch at every single water park show I've been to. And I didn't get merch again this time. And I don't know why, I just didn't like love any of the pieces that they had like i feel like i could have bought a shirt but i was like i don't really need it i have a ton of water parks shirts and they look really similar to shirts that i already have so ken got the soul sucker shorts though and miguel and rebecca got the bootleg shirts from the guy on the street they were like two for 15 dollars i was like that is insane so water parks is doing a night two at 9 30 club tonight but you know, if 2018 Kara heard that I wasn't going to night two, she'd be pissed. But I decided to go to Jack and Jack tonight. I've seen Jack and Jack twice. I was a big MagCon girly back in the day. So I met them in 2014 at Digitour. I also met Sammy and Skate and like a bunch of other people. And actually, the main reason I want to go to this Jack and Jack show tonight is that Sammy and Skate are opening. And if for anyone that remembers, like, that Vine era and, like, was really into MadCon and, like, Digitour, like, this is huge. <laughs> uh, it's been 10 years since I met them, but I ended up seeing Jack and Jack again in, I think it was 2019 when I saw them again. They had their album, A Good Friend Is Nice, come out, and they toured for that. And I went to that by myself too. So very few Jack and Jack fans that I know out there. Um, I have, a, I know a couple people that like would want to go with me, but they couldn't go today. So I'm riding solo today, but I'm excited to see them again. They uh, have a new album out called Home and they have a song with Sammy and they re-released Like That featuring Skate, which is like their most popular song. So they re-recorded it, re-released it. 
there were some royalty issues with it. But I'm going low-key with the outfit today. I have found my old Jack and Jack shirt from 2014. Why did I buy this? I've like literally worn it twice. What? Where could I wear this? It's like American flag. I don't know. It's getting its use in now. But I'm just wearing like sweatpants. They're kind of long. So I hope that I don't get them too dirty. I'm going to Union Stage tonight, which we go to a ton for like K-pop nights and stuff. But I haven't been to like a show there in a while. I don't love this venue. I'm not my favorite. Not easy to get to. And that's all I'm going to say. So we'll see. I'm in a metro. I guess I'll see you there. Somebody upstairs is deciding to like drill. So, sorry about that. Also, in my earlier clips, I there was like some noise. I think it was like the air. I'm right under the air conditioning, so I think the air was running, and that's why there was all the rumbling noise. But I just wanted to give a quick recap of Jack and Jack because I was there solo. But even though I was there by myself, it was really fun. I wish I could have been there with someone else because it was a really like hype environment. It's really hard to be hyped by yourself, at least for me. I have to say, I did not know that DJ Rupp was going to be opening the show. Um, Dylan Rupp. So I looked him up after and I realized that he follows me on Twitter and I did not remember that. But that was a nice surprise and his DJ set was actually really good. But Skate was meeting people before, but I was too nervous to go up to him because I didn't want to like buy any merch or anything. I didn't want to like run into an Emblem 3 issue where I'm just like standing in line to like say hi. And I was by myself, so I wasn't really confident. And then Sammy was meeting people after his set, but I didn't want to lose my spot in the crowd at that point. So uh, if I was with somebody, we probably would have went to meet him, but I don't know. Okay, so Skate, like I said, on the tour. And I was like listening to his stuff on the Metro before and I was like, holy shit, I like went on Spotify. He has like a really good like rap career right now. Like he's got a crazy like Spotify numbers, like millions of streams, really cool collabs. And literally he didn't have his own set, which I like kind of like suspected a little bit because like the show started really late and I was like, there's no way they're going to fit in a set for skate. Like he was just there to do like that and his song with Sammy and to be like, like DJ Rupp's uh, hype man. So I just thought that was kind of weird that like he didn't have his own set and he's like a really successful like rapper and he has a really like successful career. I listened to his older stuff and I like really liked it. So I was hoping that he was gonna do like some older songs, but I thought that was interesting. Other than that, like the set was literally amazing. Like Jack and Jack played all my favorite songs from the new one and like they played some of my favorite oldies too. Um, I don't regret going, even though I heard about Water Park's Night 2 set list. But we're not going to talk about it. Anyways, um, I've got some shows coming up in April, so we will see you then. You guys, help. I'm not sure if I'm feeling this hair, guys. I have no idea. My roots are so bad. And I don't even know if this looks good. I feel like it looks ridiculous. But it's out of my face. 
I don't know, I feel like I look insane. But we're gonna leave it. So last you saw me, I was at Jack and Jack. Now it is like a month later. And I am headed to the driver era. For those of you who don't know who the driver era is, it is Ross Lynch and Rocky Lynch's band post R5. So I'm a big R5 fan. Well, I was a big R5 fan, RIP R5. Big Ross Lynch fan to this day. I have missed the driver era coming through so many times and I'm finally gonna be able to see them. I'm very excited. Um, meeting up with Cami and her coworker Jess um, at to the show, it's at the Fillmore, which is like one of my favorite venues. So we're back, baby. And I'm wearing my R5 shirt from 2016 or something like that. And I thought it would be a good idea because it's like kind of subtle. And I think they were playing an R5 song. So I'm not that nervous about wearing the shirt. Anyways, they've changed the set list every show. So I have no idea what they're going to play. But I know that they're going to play the hits. Hopefully they play a good R5 song. I know they're going to do a song from Team Beach. So let's go, guys. We're back. We're back. All right. See you there. clips the driver era was so good i would have liked to be a little bit closer the line was so long and i got stuck in traffic on the way there so like there was no way of getting any closer but i've done my time waiting for ross lynch for hours so like i said before they changed the set list for like every show like switches up i think we got a really good set list like i was really happy with the songs that they played it was it was so good and they're just amazing performers every single time like every single time it was it was essentially like everybody that was in r5 was there besides rydell like literally ellington and Riker play in the driver era when they do tours so it was literally everybody i don't know what else to say I got nothing. I don't know what else to say about it. Got some big K-pop shows coming up this year, so keep an eye out for those. This was a good one. See you at the next one.